I think it's actually a really, um, I don't want to say easy time to get into retail, but for a hardware startup, it is uh, an easier time to get into, um, probably the easiest time it's been um, uh, to get into retail uh, because, again, of that shift in thinking where um, the really innovative products are coming from startups that you guys are running. Um, so uh, I would say that you know um, the, the the two good methods that I found to get into retail um, have been talking to a whole bunch of people and finding the correct uh, retail buyer that that you want to um, want to talk to um, and just pitching them as you would uh, a VC um, and but pitching them more on the customer experience and the customer need. And so um, I would always pick a direct relationship to the buyer um, over any sort of distributor um, distribution model. So um, I don't know if I'm going too much into to, um, technical terms, but um, there's, there's a lot of distributors out there that basically um, represent you to buyers um, of retailers. So they say, you just, you know, teach us how to pitch your product and we will sell you into Best Buy, we will sell you into Walmart, we will sell you into um, airport shops. Um, and, and there are distributors that are um, specialized in certain buyers. Um, I would absolutely not start there because you need to feel um, the uh, you need to f fuel um, the, the first sale you know it's it's really a sale of of passion that you guys can create a great product they need to hear it from the little startup that doesn't have you know the the big name behind them so I, I would really start there and just um, try to pitch your product um, you know when you are scaling then I think distributor models are really good um, but it's a great time because for the first time, you know, <coughs> um, there's a level playing ground and small companies and large companies alike are coming into this space. Um, and I would argue that small companies uh, have more of an incentive to come into this place because um, connected wireless devices are not yet big, big money. You know, th the monetization of these products it's not quite clear yet. We have people who are willing to pay under $99 for a hardware product, where if you really want to make money on that hardware product, um, you should be selling it for more. Um, and so we have to find creative ways of you know, monetizing um, um, beyond that, apps, you know, services, subscriptions. And, um, and it's not proven out yet, so um, I think uh, what I what I mean is, you know, with with retailers, um, you you guys have as much of a, um, a as much of a kind of level playing ground as as I think uh, we will ever get. I, I mean, I still see retail as being kind of hard yet. I mean, but you know, you've got more experience with a product that's launched. Um, I mean, a lot of the retailers are going to really push in the margins, and oh, yeah. we want to make, we really want to see this product as something that's available to the masses. Uh, Mitch talked really earlier about, you know, um, you know, products, expensive devices that are largely for people that are already healthy and, and fit. Um, what about that whole country, a body of people between here and, you know, between Cambridge and Palo Alto, basically, representing the, the largest opportunity out there? And I think it's kind of a it's, it's a, it's a difficult thing because to reach a lot of those people are, it's gonna be Walmart and it's gonna be Best Buy and, and some of these retail outlets. Um, and at the same time, that's really where the margins get pushed. So it, it's hard, but I think that really going out there and putting your product out through as many channels that you have, you know, that you can initially to get that traction, to get the volume up there to start, you know, to really start dropping the prices and the co in your costs, and that also demonstrates the track record and the, you know that you need to hit some of those retailers. Yeah, yeah, I am absolutely advocating for direct sales. You know, 
the internet is great for that. And I think, I think um, the margins are much better. They allow you to price um, um, a little bit more reasonably. Um, totally, yeah.